Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I have all of my clothes laid out, ready to go. So let's get this day going and make it a productive one. I'm heading downstairs before anybody else does and just getting the dishwasher unloaded. Normally I do this before bedtime, but we had to run an extra load because we are washing all of our baby brisette pieces and we are getting ready to give that to my brother and uh, his wife, my sister-in-law. They're due to have a baby soon. So we told them we would give them the baby brisette machine in hopes that it makes life a little bit easier should they decide to formula feed at any point. I love this machine so much. It really helped me out, especially with the twins doing night feedings alone. I was able to make bottles super quickly and get them both fed on their twinsy pillow on the floor. That's how I managed it. Um, there was times though where I was so tired and I would press the start button on the machine and I didn't have a bottle underneath it or I spilled a bottle and that was just pure disaster. But for the most part, it really, really saved me in those night feedings and I was so thankful that we had it. So now I'm just getting everybody's drinks ready for the day. The twins are drinking mostly whole milk with just a little bit of formula left in there. My bigger boys drink, um, I think it's like a 1% milk that we get at Costco usually, and then just filling up their water cups. We recently got the bigger boys the Yeti water cups. I know they're kind of pricey, but we were constantly buying the Contigo straw cups, and by the time we bought like two or three of those, it adds up to the price of the Yeti one anyway, and supposedly it's really durable, so so far it's been really good for them. So we ordered two. I actually got a discount on them. I think they do the ID me discount. So if you have that, you can get a discount on Yeti, which is really good because they rarely go on sale, it seems like. So yeah, I'm just getting everyone's drinks already because the boys are going to start trickling in one by one, my older two. And then I'm going to have to go upstairs and get the twins and get everyone's breakfast ready to go. I normally just keep breakfast really simple, like Kodiak waffles, pancakes, and strawberries. You guys already know that. I'm going to use this handy little tool to cut the strawberries momentarily here. But here are those water bottles that I got for the big boys and I'm just going to fill those up for the morning. Then we're going to get everyone set up with breakfast and get cleanup underway once they are done eating. <laughs> have been enjoying these mom life motivational videos lately. These are real day in the life videos, things that I do every single day. Nothing is staged for YouTube. I'm not going around deep cleaning my entire house, top to bottom, organizing every nook and cranny and pantry and closet all in one video. Just because that is not feasible, that is not my reality and my real life. I can do those things just one task at a time on top of all of the daily chores that I already have for my family of six. So I just wanted to be real with you guys over here on my channel. If you like these type of videos, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family here, but I also put out other types of content as well, especially as we get into the summer and fall, different decorating videos, cooking videos, hauls, all types of things over here on my channel. So as you guys know, every single morning I go up and sort our 
laundry and fold that and put it away. This is just very realistic what I do. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and get our bed made up and fold up our laundry and put that away as well. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life So you stole my life with clarity So hold me back, now you're here Cause I'm mad, show no fear Wanna let you know just how it felt Oh no, 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 no Don't you, don't you think we're good? There's a way we could be, no Oh no, 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 no. I know the way you look at me I know we do show my face we are finally home after three weeks of going back and forth to New Jersey we are home for a stint of about two and a half weeks which is really nice because we're trying to get everything back in order everybody back on routine and when we go up the next time will be the twins first birthday party it'll just be a regular weekend up in New Jersey not an extended stay or anything like that so really looking forward to their first birthday in the next couple of weeks here I have to do their first birthday pictures which I'm really excited about so I'll probably show you guys behind the scenes here on YouTube but for the actual pictures you'll definitely want to follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already but on today's agenda we just got through the first portion of the morning the twins are right here playing they're gonna go up for a nap in a little bit and I desperately need to work out because when I was in New Jersey I could barely work out so I'm hoping to give you guys some workout motivation it's my favorite thing is to just go and get my workout over with in the morning when I can it'll probably be later in the afternoon come summer I know I've mentioned that before um, but I love to get that done. We are cleaning up and just organizing throughout the house since being away. We have to go get groceries tonight. We're pretty low on like fresh things, milk, paper towels, diapers for the twins. So we have to do that later on. I may or may not show a grocery haul because we're probably going to go at nighttime. And when we get back, it's really chaotic. We have to unload the groceries super quick get everybody fed and changed and up for bed. So that's kind of chaotic. Um, but if I can film it, I will, but no promises on that one. We are going to be doing a little bit of decorating today. I got a few cute pieces for spring and summertime. So I'm really excited to share those with you. I'm not going to be doing a dinner recipe tonight because what most likely will happen is on the nights we go to Costco, we let the kids pick something from the Costco menu. So usually they'll get like a chicken bake or a hot dog, sometimes a slice of pizza. And I'm probably just gonna have a protein shake because I ate so bad in New Jersey all week and I really just want to start eating cleaner again. I actually have some Chipotle in the fridge. I'll show you guys my order. It's a lower carb order. So I'm gonna have that for lunch today, just keeping it really simple until we get our groceries restocked later on. It's still spring break when I'm filming this, but my middle guy, Max, he still has school going on. My oldest son, Mason, does not have school because it's public school, so it is closed, and then the twins are obviously home. So Mason went with my husband to take Max to school, and they're gonna go get an oil change in our family car because we have been driving it so much, it desperately needs an oil change I was actually afraid to drive it like any further than just going home so yeah that's kind of what's going on in our neck of the woods as you guys saw we got rid of the baby Brisa finally um so we're dwindling down on formula for the twins and switching them over to milk if you guys have any good cup recommendations for milk let me know down in the comments below as of right now they are mostly using these little honey bear cups um which I hadn't heard of these for the big boys but just heard about them for the babies and they seem to work really well um the only thing is i have to watch them when they are drinking from these because sometimes if they throw them on the floor they do splatter they're not like 100 percent leak proof or anything so if you guys have recommendations let me know with the big boys i mostly use those contigo straw cups and those seem to work out so i might try those out with the twins too but figured i would just ask and see what else is out there nowadays 
so here are some of the things we're gonna be redecorating with today things I've collected along the way like this drying mat you guys might remember from Aldi I found some matching little dish towels these came from Kohl's and then the boys and I picked up this candle back on candle day from Bath and Body Works it's the strawberry pound cake scent it smells so so good um, it has the notes of fresh picked strawberries golden shortcake whipped cream and essential oils and then in here I have some faux hydrangeas in a light blue color so I want to switch out the pink tulips that I have for Easter and see how these look these came from Amazon and then by our front door we have a mat we've had it for about eight years um, and it's finally time to switch out so I picked up this one from Target it's much larger so I'm not sure how it's gonna look you guys will have to let me know if you think it looks better or not once we put it out California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name oh, My body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run him through his hair But I'm trying not to stare mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried So are you guys candle girls? Are you diffuser girls? Let me know. I'm a mix of both. I love diffusers, but I ultimately always want a big Bath & Body Works candle or an Aldi candle or other on my stovetop. I just love that. It smells so good and it sets a really nice ambiance in the evening. So now I'm going to swap out those faux tulips, which I really loved, um, for these faux hydrangeas. Now these are real touch hydrangeas. Ranges. So when you're looking to fill a vase that's in a high traffic area and a lot of people see these on the daily, make sure you search for a real touch when you're searching on Amazon. They're really not that much more pricey than faux silk flowers and they just look so much more realistic and when you touch them they kind of have like a rubbery feel to them if that makes sense. But I love these hydrangeas. I'm glad I just got the three pack and I didn't get any more because it would have so been So I'm way about too to many. put the twins up for their nap so I wanted to run up here really quickly but one twin has a basket here for his stuffed animals and the other one has a basket too but it's a lot smaller so I need to go ahead and get that same big basket over here next time I go to Target but with that being said there's a little table back here that we used to keep next to the rocking chair and we don't use it anymore since we're not doing bottles at nighttime so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and put it in the basement and I'm just gonna move that little stuffed animal bin down over there and take this out and just free up some unused space so you'll have to let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think about this rug here's kind of like the little entryway area does it add a pop of color does it look 
too big? Does it look nice? Do you like it? It came from Target, like I said, and it was fairly inexpensive. I think around $20 um, at most. It was on sale. It's by the brand Opal House. Um, and I really do like the colors in it. I'm a little worried about it during Christmas time. So what I could do is just swap it out for like a little Christmas rug when you first walk in here because you guys know I'm huge on my Christmas decor um, for fall, spring, and summer. I think it would be totally fine, especially spring and summer because it does have a little bit of pink and blue. Um, and it also has some like tan and a little bit of like turquoise green seafoam color. It kind of has all the colors in it. But the room that it's in is really neutral. Um, the boys just have all their play stuff out in it right now. And the entryway is pretty neutral as well. Um, and just very baby friendly on the bottom. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. I'll show my husband later and see what he thinks about it. If he has any better ideas than I do. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it like this and we'll see how it goes. Okay, sorry for the poor lighting. I'm in the basement now. I'm about to do my workout, which I want to show you guys some snips of it. So that way it can motivate you to get up and get your workout in. Um, but since I was down here, I figured I would show you guys what we are giving the twins for their birthday. Their birthday is in two weeks. We have a giant Mickey in a vault that I bought a long time ago. So he's back in the storage. So I didn't want to take him out, but I wanted to show you guys a few other things that we got for them. Now, if you're new to my channel, they are babies three and four. So we have a ton of kid and baby toys already from my two older boys. So if this was my first child, this little like birthday gift haul might look a little bit different. But since they're babies three and four, this is what I could think of for them since we already have so many toys. Um, but I did want to get them a few things nonetheless because it's special and it's their first birthday. I had this stored away, this top bright um, race car ramp. So I thought that would be really fun for them because they love cars and Hot Wheels just like their big brothers. Um, so pretty much all four boys might play with this, but got this for the twins. It says 18 months plus, so that's perfect for them. Then also, um, my mom asked what she could get them for their birthday, and we really needed a new water table. Ours had been outside for about four to five years now, and it was finally time to get rid of it and replace it. So she got them a new water table, which they did love our old water table, so I know they will love that. So for the water table, I got them these Disney Baby, it's Mickey Mouse and Friends linking boats. They love Mickey Mouse, so I figured they could play with these in the water table. I highly recommend this is the um green toys brand the green toys brand are pretty much indestructible and they last forever especially outside I had like a submarine version of this outside for almost six years and it was in perfect condition through all weather so definitely recommend this brand and they're really inexpensive on Amazon like sometimes you can get sets like this for five six maybe ten dollars at most and it's so durable lasts forever and I think it's made in the U.S. yeah made in the U.S. and 100% recycled plastic so these are amazing also to either go in the water table or in the bathtub this is a mini whale fountain um what it says it goes in the water and it shoots out water um it says it's for sensory training and you can just put it in the bathtub but i think we'll put it in the water table um i'm not sure if this one lights up different colors but it charges on a usb i know there's ones that light up i think this one might light up it was 8.99 on amazon so i thought that would be really fun for them and then just some practical gifts. Um, I picked up these Lightning McQueen pajamas at the outlets for them. They really like cars, so thought that was cute. And then also for summertime, hopefully I got the right size. Yeah, size five. So this might be for this year or next spring. We'll see how, yeah, these are going to be too big for this year. So we'll just hang on to them for next spring. It's totally fine. But I got them each a pair of Crocs. I think my bigger boys we're in this size five when they were like one, one and a half. So it might work towards the end of summer. We'll see if not like end of summer towards fall. So they each have a black pair of Crocs to wear. I got them on sale somewhere along the lines. Where did I get these from? Crocs directly. So they must have been having a big sale when I snagged these. Um, and then the last things that I have for them 
are these little custom hats, Jackson and Luke. I got these on Etsy when they were having like an Etsy sale. It was kind of like a Prime Day version for Etsy. Um, and they were really inexpensive and just so cute. So they can have their own little personalized trucker hats. I thought that was practical, but just a cute gift for a one-year-old boy. They can wear them all summer long and the following year as well because they are adjustable in the back. So that is what we will be giving the twins for their first birthday. Um, nothing too elaborate. Like I said, we already have a play set outside. We're getting the water table. We already have toys inside, like a train table. That would be a really nice birthday gift, but we already have that. We have a little play kitchen for them. So we have plenty of baby toys, um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you were looking for some ideas, maybe to gift someone else, or if you have, you know, second, third, fourth, fifth babies, and you're kind of stuck in a rut and you don't know what to get them because you already have all of the babies things you have the bikes outside you have the wagon um so yeah those were just some ideas we came up with and on their actual birthday we're gonna take them out to a restaurant and let them order some good food and we will sing happy birthday to them and then two days later it will be their birthday party at my mom's house in new jersey which is mickey mouse themed you guys already know um and then just before their birthday we're gonna get their first hair trim we did that with all of our boys because the twins have really long hair in the back but i didn't want to get it cut too early so we're just waiting until their first birthday or like right around their first birthday so that's kind of our big plans for the twins first birthday and then as the years go on we'll let them kind of pick the themes of their birthdays and get them things catered to what individual twin wants what so like if one twin likes cars or the other one likes trains we'll get them gifts based on that but for now they're one years old and I think these are some pretty solid one-year-old gifts so now I'm gonna get my workout underway. My five-year-old is actually with me. You won't see him much in the videos or my kids for the most part. I might just show them here and there, but definitely nothing personal about them is going to be posted on YouTube. Um, I'm just more protective, obviously, with my kids knowing what I know about the internet. I'm sure you guys understand, but I'm gonna get myself set up for a great workout. I'm gonna get some music going, get my gloves on, my weightlifting belt for squats and then I've also recently incorporated these knee uh, compression braces for when I do squats just because my husband has had so many injuries I'm honestly petrified of an injury so I'm trying to protect my joints in any way possible I don't care if I look crazy um, but I'm gonna do a warm-up set of squats I'm in my basement if you didn't know we have a home gym that we've built over the years some pieces are new for us and others are Facebook market finds and they all work great so I'm really grateful that we do have this gym since I can't get out to a regular gym with all of the kiddos, but I did my warm up set. Next, I'm going to jump into adding some weights on here. I hope you guys find this motivational. I know when I see other moms working out on YouTube, it gives me some motivation to get up and work out too, whether that's just a walk or following an exercise program online, getting on a bike or lifting weights. I've lifted weights for many, many years um, on and off, obviously with pregnancies but here on my squats, I know I could go a little bit lower, but after having the twins, I feel like everything is just not perfectly back in its place yet. So I like to take it a little bit easy on that. Then I'm going to do some leg extensions like curls, another machine, and also ride the Peloton bike, which I didn't show, but I hope you guys enjoy seeing a little bit of my workout and it motivated you to get up and work out too. <laughs> but I need to eat lunch really quickly and get everybody else lunch too. So lesson learned, I should check my order before I bring it home, but this is my Chipotle order. I'm missing all the lettuce for the salad, um, but it has vegetables. It has light black beans, chicken. It has some <laughs> sour cream, <laughs> cheese, and a little bit of corn. And normally it would be full of lettuce. It has, corn? it has corn, but they forgot the lettuce in there. So now it's just everything without lettuce and I don't have lettuce because we didn't grocery shop so I'm gonna end today's video here and go eat this and make the kids their lunch and hopefully I'm get on a walk eat it about salad. yeah I'm gonna have to eat it without the salad because we don't have any um but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one bye <laughs>